pyramid of power with eyes I can see it all Cameras to capture your image at City Hall Realize they listen whenever you make a call Welcome to NXT, ladies and gentlemen. My name, of course, is Tubby Emu here in Universe Mode. Adrian Neville has, in fact, been stripped of his title. The GM has announced that because of the fact that Adrian Neville is gone, we will now crown a new champion. And the opening round starts tonight. So for those wondering why Adrian Neville was stripped, he debuted last Monday on Monday Night Raw, and he would go on to uh, say he'd want to stay there. And because of that fact, the GM here in NXT decided to strip him of the title and allow the NXT superstars an opportunity to Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens versus Mojo Rowley to start it. I don't know if this is an opportunity so much for Mojo as it is a death sentence. Kevin Owens absolutely leaves a path of destruction wherever he goes. And you know what? We're going to find out right now. Kevin Owens versus Mojo Rowley in the opening round, the opening contest here on WWE NXT. Guys, I want to take time to uh, thank you for the support on Universe Mode Raw episode number one. We will be running Universe Mode three times. I will be having a full set schedule, as you can see. We will be down in NXT, along with NXT. NXT will have its own NXT Live pay-per-view specials at twitch.tv forward slash tubbyemu, along with Raw and SmackDown. Coming up, the payback pay-per-view, the date to be announced shortly. So as we get on with this match, as Kevin Owens gets taken down to the mat by Mojo Rowley, Mojo Rowley has been out with injury for the last seven months. Mojo Rowley said tonight he wanted to come out and prove to the NXT universe that he can not only get hyped, he can stay hyped throughout the whole injury period and that his determination and drive to become the NXT champion was here. And we would find out why tonight. As uh, Mojo Rowley, I, I can't say this is a very easy opponent for Kevin Owens uh, or Mojo Rowley. Both of these guys are a pretty big names down here in NXT and I know what you're saying Tubby Mojo Rowley really yes Mojo Rowley has a lot of potential if you've ever seen a match okay maybe you haven't maybe you don't know what I'm talking about maybe you've never seen it before I don't know maybe you need to go look him up but this man his strength his power his hypeness is that a word can we say hypeness look at that he's able to pop up he does things other big men shouldn't be able to do as Kevin Owens it's kind of getting taken to a little bit, but uh, he's able to reverse it there and fight out of it. Mojo Rowley has pretty much been dominating this match so far. He already looks to be possibly looking to set something up, but no big DDT from Kevin Owens taking down Mojo Rowley to the mat as Kevin Owens uh, seems a little uh, pissed off here. When he debuted, he took out superstars. He took out jobbers. He took out guys that were a part of NXT, guys that were just brought into NXT. And he has been on a little bit of a warpath, and he says he is ready to fight for a prize, that he only wants to fight for a prize. Well, he is fighting for that prize here tonight if he's able to beat Mojo Rowley. He would go on to face the winner of Tyler Breeze versus Finn Balor. And if he did that, he would make it to the semifinals. And the semifinals will happen. The finals will happen at that NXT Live pay-per-view special between whoever it is. As Mojo Rowley has Kevin Rowans against the ropes. He throws him over the top rope. Kevin Owens dives underneath the ropes, goes on the outside. Now, these two men, I can tell you right now, as Mojo Rowley throws Kevin Owens out of the way. He goes chasing after him. He's just, look at this. He's just chasing around, throwing him the ring. Mojo's so hyped. I think he just wanted to go outside and run around a little bit to try to get his juices flowing because you guys got to say it with me. I don't get hyped. I stay hyped. As uh, Mojo Rowley right away uh, is still looking good here in this match as he uh, tries to get something uh, to stick here against Kevin Owens. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to take. Big suplex there. Nice fisherman suplex. As Kevin Owens rolls out of the ring, Kevin Owens might be trying to set a trap for Mojo, 
But no, Mojo is able to bring Kevin Owens back into the ring. Now, Kevin Owens, the movie's been hitting out of nowhere, the pop-up powerbomb. He can literally hit it out of anywhere. It doesn't matter where, when, how, or why is another big shot. <laughs> do we call that the rear view? What do we call it? That's got to be it. Mojo Rowley. No, Mojo Rowley is not going to advance as Mojo going for a kick on Kevin Owens. And there it is. Just like we said, the pop-up powerbomb from Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens taking an absolute beating in this match. And then out of nowhere, the pop-up powerbomb. So Mojo Rowley here uh, with a pretty good showing considering he's been out for injury for as long as he has. But in the end, he falls to Kevin Owens. So uh, better luck to Mojo Rowley in his chase for the title. But uh, Kevin Owens is going to move on. Kevin Owens will be looking to face the winner of Breeze versus Finn Balor. And that match will happen next week here on NXT. As you can see, the pop-up powerbomb from nowhere. Kevin Owens getting the pin. One, two, three as Kevin Owens looks to make a name for himself as he is headed in now. There he is, you can see. He's excited. He's headed into the semi-finals. As uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's not bask in the, in the greatness of Kevin Owens just yet. As we take a look, Kevin Owens, we've got other matches. We've got Tyler Breeze versus Finn Balor, Sami Zayn versus Hideo Itami, and our very next match, Baron Corbin is going to take on Rhino. Rhino returning to WWE NXT. What does he have planned? All right, so here we go. We have Baron Corbin taking on Rhino. Baron Corbin is a guy to watch here in NXT. His matches often don't last very long. He usually goes out there in his end of days when he hits that move out of nowhere. No opponent has yet to ever kick out of the end of days, but Rhino returning. You can already hear it. Can you hear the chants running wild? They want the gore. The NXT Universe loves Rhino. Rhino, Rhino. You can just hear the electricity here as Rhino returns. And uh, yes, we are being told that uh, some people are probably going to complain and bitch and moan that he's not wearing the NXT shirt, but the guy with the NXT shirt car had a really crappy, crappy moveset as Rhino. Nice scoop slam out of there. Now, both of these men do something very, very similar. They have very, very similar styles in the fact that their matches here in NXT do not last very long. Both of these guys are big, vicious competitors. Both of these guys like to beat the absolute crap out of their opponents. Both guys hit the move. The gore versus the end of days. Both moves are equally devastating, and neither one has been kicked out of here in NXT. Rhino, since returning to NXT, has proven that the staying power of ECW is still around and that the fans still go absolutely insane for him as these two men, I have to imagine if these two men were to compete in uh, more, if there was something, you know what? I think Baron Corbin and Rhino can both agree. I think both of these men could have possibly deserved a shot in the finals had they not been paired up against each other. This might have been a finals matchup. Both are big. Both have uh, very, very big potential here in uh, NXT. And there's been some people questioning Rhino, whether Rhino was brought back to NXT to be, let's call it an enhancement talent, to put over NXT superstars. But so far, that has not been his case. Rhino said, I am not here for the young guys. I am here for myself. I will do whatever it takes to win that NXT title. I'm not here to impress you, you, or you. I'm here for myself. And for all I care, EC Dub. 
I, I can't, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to say that. Okay, I'm not allowed to say what he exactly said here about NXT. But he goes for the gore. He went for the gore, but Baron Corbin stopped it. Baron Corbin caught him out of nowhere, and I think that's taken Rhino back a little bit here. I don't think Rhino was expecting that as he was setting up for the gore. Baron Corbin caught him with that knee. Now Baron Corbin beating him down on the outside. Baron Corbin, another big move. These two big behemoths are fighting on the outside now. The winner of this match will go on to face either Hideo Itami or Sami Zayn. Both very, very game competitors. As Rhino taking time to gloat here a little bit on the outside. Now, uh, there are disqualifications. There are countouts. So uh, either one of these men, if they both get counted out, neither one of them will move on in the tournament. As uh, Baron Corbin getting shut out. Getting smashed off that ring. Wait, 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 Rhino, what are you doing? Rhino on the outside. Baron Corbin turns around. Gore! 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 Rhino just hit it. And he rolls back in at a count of nine. Rhino said he would do whatever it would take. And it looks like Rhino is going to take a count out victory here in NXT. As I, I don't think this is the Rhino that people were expecting. People expect Rhino to come back. Maybe impress the fans a little bit. But his motto was right. He, he apparently doesn't care about you, you, or you. All he wants to do is win that NXT title. Nail, nails a gore on the outside. I think he thought about throwing him back into the ring to pin him. But after that first one, he said, screw it. I will take the victory whatever way I can. And there it is. So Rhino moves on. He will face the winner of Sami Zayn versus Hideo Itami. But coming up next, Prince Pretty takes on Finn Balor in our third match in the opening round of the NXT Championship Tournament. So here we are, set Tyler Breeze taking on Finn Balor. This will be one hell of a match. Side hip toss takedown by Tyler Breeze to start off the match against Finn Balor. Now, Tyler Breeze has been down here in NXT for quite a while now. We thought he was on the path to uh, something bigger and better. Unfortunately, the last couple months, he's kind of stalled out. He hasn't really done much. He hasn't really found that niche. Finn Balor, on the other hand, has came into NXT. He has came out of nowhere, and he has gotten opportunity after opportunity, and he has beaten many, many superstars, and he looks to be in line for a number one contendership or win the title here outright in this tournament. Now, Tyler Breeze like we said, has been struggling a little bit as of late. So a win over Finn Balor, because Finn is on a little bit of a winning streak here in NXT. A win for Tyler Breeze would be huge. But either one of these men have to go up against Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens here, ladies and gentlemen, has hurt people in NXT. So whether you're a Tyler Breeze fan, you're a Finn Balor fan, you know he's going to have to go on to face Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens has got a reckless abandonment about him as Tyler Breeze goes for that big super kick but misses. Now that super kick, if Tyler Breeze... Hits that super kick out of nowhere. That can do huge damage to his opponent. Finn Balor is looking to scout that because you could see, again, he scouts it for the second time in a row. He knows, Finn knows if he gets hit by that, it could be all over. As Tyler Breeze rolling Finn Balor in the middle of the ring, looking to keep going on him. Knee to the small of the back there. As Tyler Breeze, once again, a small... I was going to say Smalls there. Shout out to Smalls. Is Tyler Breeze trying to stay on Finn Balor in this match. Goes for that super kick again. The third time was not a charm. And Finn Balor caught him there with a drop kick. As Finn trying to stalk him from behind, Tyler Breeze ducks underneath. And Tyler Breeze catches him with a big running elbow. Still in control of this match. So far, Finn really hasn't been able to do much. This has been the Tyler Breeze show. Here in this match, Finn Balor needs a moment to go to the outside to rest. As Finn trying to, I, I don't know what's going on. He he just is not connecting right now. Tyler Breeze has his number apparently as uh, Finn trying to get the upper hand some way, shape, or form. Finn Balor going over the top rope. The crowd went insane for that one. Big cross body from the rope. Going for the pin now. No, not even able to get a one count there as Tyler Breeze was able to power out. As uh, Finn Balor, he has traveled the world extensively. He has wrestled all over the place. 
He is looking to make a name for himself here in WWE, here in NXT. And becoming the third ever NXT champion would be huge. That would set Finn Balor. Hell, that would set Tyler Breeze apart from everybody down here in NXT. Either one of these men, I think, would be a great person to hold that title. Prince Purdy has done something very unique and interesting to the universe, whether they love him or they hate him or whether or not they have also bought a selfie stick. Finn Balor, though, on the other hand, brings a very unique style, an international wrestling style. As you can see, he connects middle of the ring there on Tyler Breeze. That is going to be it. He nails it. One, two, and no, Tyler Breeze was able to power out there at two. Finn Balor trying to stay on top of Tyler Breeze. That's what he needs to do as Tyler Breeze giving a, getting a second there. Big Hurricane Ron and taking down Finn Balor to the mat again. Finn is a little gassed in this match. I don't think Finn was expecting this from Tyler Breeze. I don't think he was expecting that much competition from the man. As see, Finn was looking to go off the ropes right there, but Finn was too tired. Finn was brought down in this match too much by Tyler Breeze, and Finn realizes it. I think something is wrong with Finn Balor as uh, he thought about going up top right there, but uh, in the end, he changes his mind. He holds. He's waiting for him to get up. Maybe they were on commercial break. I don't know, but there we go. Finn Balor over the top. Connects and hits against Tyler Breeze, though, as Tyler Breeze goes bouncing into those steel steps. And Finn Balor, Finn, you can't gloat here in NXT. You may be new to NXT, but you got to stay on top of Tyler. You can't waste any time. Tyler Breeze can hit that super kick. He can just nail you with it. You got to get him back in the ring and pin him, kid. Unless he's trying to go for a count out victory. Maybe Finn just realizes he's not going to be able to beat Tyler Breeze. He's trying to pin him. Or uh, get him to no. He, there he is. He's back in the ring. He's gonna try to pin him. I thought he was gonna try to steal a cheeky count out victory like earlier on in the night between Rhino and Baron Corbin. What is he setting him up for? He lifts him up. Big drop kick to the face of Tyler Breeze. Prince Purdy can't imagine. I can't imagine he would like that too much. The beautiful, the pretty face. Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that of Tyler Breeze? That's his money maker. That's what Tyler Breeze relies on. And I don't think he's a big fan of Finn Balor. Hitting it, kicking it, or maybe even uh, looking at him as uh, there he is, middle of the ring. Finn Balor connects again, but Finn Balor has nothing left in the tank. You can see Finn Balor laid out middle of the ring. Can he get the cover? It's over. It, there it is. One, two. Tyler Breeze powering out at two. I think if Finn was able to get over there and cover him right at three, right after he hit the move, it would have been a three count as Finn is trying to steal it. Here it is. One, two. Finn trying to steal it. 2.9 as Tyler Breeze was able to kick out. Finn Balor obviously getting upset here as he's throwing Tyler Breeze in the corner. You know what he's setting up for. You know what he's setting up for right now. When he does this, he's about to go for the big diving stomps. But Finn, once again, he has no energy left. He's absolutely tired and destroyed, but there it is. After the big German suplex from the corner, this is how he sets it up. He's going up top now. Looking to set it up, Tyler Breeze still laid out, but Finn is so tired. Wait a minute, Finn, uh, I think Finn is uh, thinking twice here about this. Finn going to the outside, probably trying to set up for something else. And holy, Tyler Breeze! Wait. Wait. One, two, three. What? Finn ba I can't even talk right now. Finn Balor out of nowhere. Gets hit with that super kick that Tyler Breeze missed three times earlier in the match. Finn Balor had that move scouted inside of the ring. But I don't think he ever thought that Tyler Breeze would hit that move. As you can see, he scouted it how many times he was able to counter that move and stop it. But right here, when Finn Balor was going up top, Tyler Breeze knew the big stomp was coming. He was able to get out of the way. He had it scouted perfectly. Finn thought he'd go to the outside, but no, he gets caught with a super kick. So Finn Balor has been eliminated from the NXT Championship Tournament. Is it Prince Pretty's opportunity? Is it Prince Pretty's time? After being down here in NXT for as long as he has, is it Tyler Breeze's opportunity, chance, whatever, to go on and win that title. He will face Kevin Owens next week on WWE NXT. I'm excited. As you can take a look, Prince Pretty's got to be happy getting a huge victory. This could possibly be one of the biggest victories in his NXT career, as you can see. Our main event tonight, though, will be Sami Zayn taking on Hideo Itami. 
to figure out the last spot in the semifinals of the WWE NXT Championship match. All right, so here we go. It is time for the main event of the evening. The former NXT champion, Sami Zayn, looks to take on up-and-comer Hideo Itami. Now, Sami Zayn has been trying to get back to that NXT title. He did lose it to Adrian Neville. Adrian Neville would win the title. Adrian Neville now up on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn looking to recapture that title. And uh, it, it's a very, very interesting situation here with all eight men here tonight. Three have already advanced. So far in the tournament, we have got Kevin Owens. He will be taking on Tyler Breeze next week. And the winner of this match will take on Rhino. What a, what a match for either one of these two guys to go up against the ECW legend Rhino. And Rhino is already said to be making a name for himself here in NXT, that he is not here for the fans. He is here to absolutely destroy and do whatever and whatever it will take to win that NXT title. Rhino has just seemed to show something that he hasn't shown in the WWE or anywhere else for a long time. Now that has to spell trouble for either one of these men. Both of these men are decorated indie wrestlers. Both of these men have gone out and made one hell of a name for themselves as Hideo Itami, newer to NXT, has wowed and shocked the audiences. As you can hear, the audiences are already chanting for the GTS, waiting, waiting for the debut of the GTS. And uh, did we mention it? Are we going to get a, yeah, we're getting fined by Vince McMahon for even mentioning the move as Sami Zayn, middle of the ring, snap suplex, taking uh, advantage of Hideo Itami here in our main event. Now, next week as well, there will be a number one contenders tag team match for the NXT tag team titles. Make sure to stay tuned for that. And as well, the NXT Divas will be in action next week. So Sami Zayn here uh, looks to, uh, wait a minute, he's got him against the ropes as Adrian Neville uh, being up on Monday Night Raw is, is, is allowed an opportunity here for these superstars. It's allowed an opportunity for guys like Hideo Itami. Sami Zayn has had those title opportunities. Hideo Itami really is yet to ever get that opportunity. It was taken away from him before. And now when he's fighting back, trying to claw his way into that title, you have to wonder, does Hideo Itami have what it takes? He was in a number one contenders match previously. He was not successful in that match. The big one. He couldn't, he, could he win the big one? as Sami Zayn takes down Hideo with a nice drop kick there. Hideo has yet to really prove himself here. Unlike Finn Balor, who has came in and has had multiple victories over big-name superstars, Hideo has is, is won occasionally, but has never really done it. That one big thing to really shock the fans is I think Hideo Itami was setting up for a move there. He's able to stop it from Sami, going for a drop kick, and he was able to get out of the way there as Sami Zayn possibly looking to set up for that Haluva kick. If he connects with that Haluva kick, it will be over, ladies and gentlemen. Nice swinging arm drag there as Sami Zayn going up top. He could be looking for it right here. Sami Zayn up top. Sami Zayn swanton going for the pin. This is going to be it. One, two, and no, at two, Hideo Itami was able to kick out. Now, Hideo Itami and Sami Zayn got to keep their eye on the prize. The winner of this match goes on to face Rhino. As I, over, I think, what was that move? I don't even know what that move was. Hideo Itami went off the ropes. I think it was a little bit missed time. Sami Zayn went to the mat first. But then uh, his, his foot landed on, I think he kicked him to the mat. Just an awesome sequence. Big kicks to the face there of Hideo Itami, Hideo Itami trying to steal one right here. One, two, and no, Sami Zayn is able to power out at the count of two. As you can see, uh, Hideo Itami trying to slow things down a little bit and stock him. But no, once again, Sami Zayn had that move scouted. Sami Zayn is not going to, wait a minute, Sammy, I thought he was going for a haluva kick, but no, Sami Zayn throwing Hideo Itami to the outside. Hideo, don't turn around. Sami Zayn, big swinging DDT through the second turn rope. The turnbuckle, and the fans are going absolutely insane down here in NXT. Sammy, just throw him back in the ring. You are going on. You are facing Rhino for the NXT title. Just get him back in the ring, kid. Sammy Zayn taking a, a little time to celebrate and gloat here as all he's got to do is get him back in the ring to pin him. I don't think Hideo Itami is going to have anything left as he chucks him back into the ring. Just go for that pin, Sammy. No, Hideo is able to get back to his feet, though. 
I'm a little shocked and surprised by that as Sammy trying to steal one from Roll Up in the one, two, no. Sammy Zay not able to get the pin. Hideo was able to kick out at two. Sammy trying to stock him, but Hideo trying to come back here as Hideo with Tommy. What a huge victory it would be. He would be the first NXT Japanese superstar to hold the title. Yes, what a huge, huge move that would be for uh, Atami to come on over from Japan, come into the system of American wrestling here, and in less than six months win the NXT title. What, a, what a, an assimilation rate that would be to come in Learn the system. Learn what you have to do. Wrestling is wrestling, but when you have to learn a new company, what a rise that would be as Hideo tried to pump up, though. Hideo Itami. I thought Sami Zayn was calling for the end there, but out of nowhere, Hitami has found some strength. Going for big kicks in the corner. Hideo, one, two, three, four, five. Big kicks in the corner. What, Hideo, what are you doing? Hideo Itami is setting. Is he going for a coast? If he hits this, it's over. This was Hideo Itami's. He thought about using this as his finisher, and he hits it. He hits the big stomp across the ring. Just pin him, kid. What are you doing? Hideo. Hideo Itami goes for a move after he hit his finisher. Why? Hideo, why would you go for that move? As Sami Zayn has got him in the corner. Haluva kick. Haluva kick out of nowhere. And Sami Zayn. One, two, three. Hideo Itami just had the perfect opportunity to win. Hideo Itami had that match in the bag. All he had to do was pin him. I do not know why he did not attempt the pin. He went for a move off the second rope. It backfired. I don't know if that's the uh, inexperience of Itami down here in NXT or if that's just the veteran ability and skill and knowledge of Sami Zayn to know he would possibly be going for something else to get out of the way. But in the end, one small mistake has cost Hideo Itami his chance to become the NXT champion. And there he is, Sami Zayn. So Sami Zayn will move on. Will he be able to regain that title that he so covets? He will be facing Rhino. And that match happens next week on WWE NXT. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Semifinals next week as we get ready for the NXT pay-per-view. Action next week. Divas, tag team number one contenders. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name is Tubby Emu. We will see you all later.